No, it's not 10 feet. Okay. Good morning, everyone. We're out here working on the woodshed again. And as you can tell, we got part of our wall up while I was milling those logs. Ariel was getting these all nailed up and this section is almost completely done and it's looking awesome so far. All of the wood that I've milled this morning was from leftover pieces of these beams that we cut the other day. So I didn't actually have to use my guide system that I built out of my two by fours. It was basically just put the saw and the uh, chainsaw mill at about an inch and a half and just cut, cut, cut. So we got these all knocked out pretty fast, but we are all out of those logs and we have a trailer full of logs that Ariel is sitting on. And I got one right here and we're gonna have to start using our guide again. We're gonna have to use that guide once on each log. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the guide and we're gonna get that first nice straight cut. We're gonna take off the guide, set the saw at about an inch and a half and start cutting again. Let's go over to this log that I'm about to cut. I made a couple changes to the guide that I wanna show you. This is the two by four that we used uh, when we were milling those beams up there. And as you can tell, it's seen better days. You really have to drill in and out of these in different spots a lot. So this thing's pretty much toast. I had this extra angle iron that's aluminum. This came with our um, mounting brackets for our solar system. Anyways, this is an extra piece and I cut one down for each side. So now we got this nice piece of aluminum on here and I drilled a bunch of different holes um, for different size logs. And this thing is like super sturdy now. So. Big improvement on there. We're gonna set the saw up on here and we're gonna get this first cut down and then we're gonna just keep cutting out planks for the walls. And the plan for all the walls on this thing, basically this whole thing is gonna be enclosed except for that front section where you're gonna kinda of walk in 
And not only is it gonna keep the snow and the rain out of here, but it's also gonna be what the wood is kind of stacked up against. Every single wall, except for the two end walls, is gonna be eight feet. The two end walls are 10 feet apart. And on this back section, we're going to be able to use some of the boards that still have this live edge on them. We're just gonna flip them this way. And these are gonna sit on here. And then you're not gonna see this backside. So that's gonna save us some time in cutting these boards. So that's what Ariel's gonna be working on. She's basically gonna be measuring these boards out, picking out ones that kind of match together and she's gonna be nailing them all up and I'm just gonna keep on milling the boards with the chainsaw mill. Alright guys, as you can tell, things are looking pretty cool in here. We got one wall completely done. This one needs one more board. We started those ones probably like, I don't know, a little over halfway done. Uh, definitely takes a long time milling those pieces of wood with that chainsaw mill, but that's the way it is. We're saving a lot of money doing it this way and it's actually turning out awesome. I love the live edge on all these pieces of wood. We are going to finish up cutting this piece here. And I got another one on the ground I'm gonna cut and I'll probably pull one more log down. We'll just, I'm just gonna to try to mill those as fast as I can and get them set aside. We've got a few other things we gotta do on the property today. We gotta to do some stuff with the bees and a couple other chores. So we're gonna kind of call the uh, woodshed quits for today and we'll pick back up with you guys next time. three boards. Tell me that doesn't look beautiful. That doesn't look beautiful. No, oh. it does look beautiful. Oh. about half an inch is that too long no come my way just like just like it was just like that. So we got like that yep like that yeah. finally finished with this structure or getting really close to being finished with it. It took a long time, probably the span of three, you know, over three days of Eric working. Um, I helped a little and <laughs> it looks beautiful. It looks better than I could have imagined it would look. I'm actually a little bummed that we're just using it for wood. Kind of just want to hang out in here truthfully. <laughs> we still have quite a bit to do as far as cleanup goes and then we're gonna get some pallets in here. Yep, this definitely is turned out awesome. I love this thing. It's Again, it's probably the coolest thing we've built. It took a long time, 
using that chainsaw mill to get this all done, I think we did about 70 pieces of these little boards, not including the beams that we milled too. So took quite a while to get it done, but I think we only paid $130 for that chainsaw mill. And if we would have bought in all this lumber, it would have cost us a whole lot more than that. So definitely still really happy with that chainsaw mill. And I know it's going to come in useful in the future. We're hoping to do small projects with it. Maybe not such large structures like this one. Yeah, it took a while. I'm kind of done using it for now. We're going to tidy up out here. We have about a foot of sawdust that we're going to be putting in with the chickens. Alright, so this is actually working out awesome because we have had like extreme rain the last few days. In fact, all of June was pretty rainy in my opinion. Um, and we had like a flash flood storm the other day. So the chicken coop generally doesn't get muddy, but it is starting to be a little muddy and smell a little bit. So this is going to work out wonderfully for us. Chickens! Chick, 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 chick. All right, the woodshed build is officially done. It took us about five days to complete this project. Let's walk around and take a look at it. So we definitely think using that sawmill and cutting this kind of live edge wood, all these different sizes, turned out really cool on this thing. Not only does it look good, but we have a lot of gaps in there and that's really gonna help with airflow for keeping this wood dry and drying it when it's not seasoned yet. And all the wood that we used um, for this project was already dry. It was, you know, beetle kill wood, so it's not wet. So we don't have to worry about anything shrieking up or twisting on us. And this was actually the longest wall we did. This one on the other side, and these are a little bit over 10 feet. And then around the back side, this section turned out really cool. It's a little different looking. This was all the first and last cuts from all the logs that I milled. So it's got the cool bark on here and the live edge. I think it turned out pretty cool looking on this side. And then this side is the same as the other side. We have a little bit of a gap up top here. Um, I'll show you on the inside, but this is the height that we're gonna be stacking the wood to. So a little bit of a gap up there is not gonna hurt us and it's just gonna give us a little more airflow in there. And on all the corners, we wanted to show a little bit of the log because we thought the logs look so nice. So that's why we don't have a meeting up out here. And the final dimensions on this woodshed is a 12 by 24. So let's head inside and we'll show you what we did in there.
All right, so you can tell we already started stacking some wood in here. We have two full stacks back here, a half stack here, and then this one right here, and that one over there, all the way to the back side. That's some of our birch wood that still needs to dry out. The rest of it is all spruce that's ready to burn, and we fit four big pallets and then two smaller ones on each side section and we measured it all out and we're going to be able to fit a little over four cords on each end so that'll give us a total of eight cords which will be plenty for us we only burn about three to four cords a year over on this section you can kind of see the pallets that we have stacked here we just started stacking some of our birch in here that we split yesterday and you can just really see how much room you actually have in here to stack wood Next thing we did is we put up a tool rack. I had all these tools sitting on our Connex, and the thing about a Connex is you can't really drill into the walls on those things, so I had nowhere to hang all these tools. We put up an extra piece of wood here. We got all our shovels, axes, mauls, got the generator in here, and then we got our log for split and kindling. The area I'm standing in now was left open. We're not gonna stack any wood in here. Um, it's basically just going to be for splitting wood, splitting kindling, getting tools, stuff like that. And when it starts to snow, you know, it kind of comes in a little bit, so you'll lose a little bit of that room. But when it does start to snow, we haven't exactly figured it out yet, but we might just hang up a small tarp over this entrance to, you know, help keep a little bit of the snow out. Or we might be putting in a kind of rolling style barn door that would roll side to side. So this shed is going to be a huge improvement over what we've done for the last two winters, which is just throw tarps over our wood. So we're really looking forward to having a permanent place to stack all this wood. And that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to start stacking some more wood in here. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time.